morning guys, how are you all doing and welcome back to another vlog. Today, as you guys saw, we've got the electrician slash plumber slash everything downstairs. He's come, come to fix the washing machine. It smells. But guys, the key there is it smells nice. Yesterday, my new essential oil just arrived for the oil diffuser and uh, it was lemongrass. Unacceptable! Now, this is not sponsored at all or anything, but fresh skin, if you have an oil diffuser, are the best place for essential oils. It only takes a few drips, which means that you, in fact, use less. So it's good for money. They're only $1.99 each and they smell so good. Because I bought some essential oils to begin with that smelt so fake and so like not natural. But although it's definitely fake, like this isn't literally gonna be juiced up lemongrass. It smells real than rather than it smelling fake, which I love. Um, and having the smell in the air is just amazing. I love it, amazing smell. And well guys, I live in quite a countryish area, like I am surrounded by fields, like yeah there's this kind of housing area here, but literally beyond maybe that house over there, it's something that we call the Greenway in Letchworth, it's like a green kind of coastal path, obviously not coastal, but a green country kind of path that goes around Letchworth and surrounded by fields basically, and they've been manuring every single field is this time of year and the smell is awful. I didn't know when they were doing it, so I was at work all day, had my windows open, came home and just all I could smell was horse shit. So uh, yeah, the oil diffuser's doing an amazing job of uh, diffusing a brand new lemongrass smell into my room, which is uh, doing a brilliant job right now. But guys, I know this vlog is gonna be short because Tomorrow I've got my uni induction day and I've kind of got to prepare a bit for that. I've got a vlog to edit from before this one and I've got a lot of stuff to do and then I'm playing badminton at seven o'clock tonight as well. So I've got quite a busy day. However, in the gap in between, I feel like I'm gonna have an early lunch now and then we'll head down, down to the countryside, down the road, just to go and get some B-roll to kind of spice this vlog up a little bit because I know people say not to vlog when you don't have any ideas, but today I really don't, but I hate a day not vlogging because when I vlog, it makes my day so productive and it makes me do things um, and makes me basically live a so much healthier lifestyle, which I love. So I'm gonna have a quick bit of lunch now and then we'll head out. Right guys, as I've... Jesus Christ. Right guys, as I've said before, video creating is more of a collaborative effort than a solo. And well that, what I mean is, when it comes to filming yourself, especially in B-roll, it is particularly hard. Because, well, filming someone else is easy. I was walking around the other day, Ben was following me with the gimbal like this. we got some absolutely dope shots. However, when it comes to you yourself, a gimbal and a camera, it complicates things that little bit more. Now guys, I know I say a lot in these vlogs, B-roll, B-roll, B-roll. We're gonna go and get a B-roll here. We're gonna B-roll this, we're gonna B-roll that. Do you guys actually know what B-roll is? Because this right now is A-roll. A-roll is me talking to the camera, just kind of the mainstream main part of the video which you guys get most of the information from. The b-roll is the back kind of story, so the background kind of detail, just images that kind of help show what a-roll is trying to tell you. Whereas in vlogs like what I do, I use b-roll to kind of move from time to time, so if I'm going from here to town, I may use some car b-roll, me walking out to the car, getting in the car, driving to town, some sort of b-roll like that, 
just to kind of show time passing from here to there rather than cutting straight from here straight to town, you know what I mean? And well, a gimbal is one of the best ways to show this. Simply because, well, with a gimbal, it makes a lot smoother shot. Well, smooth is what you want. Smooth is exactly what you need. I know sometimes you can get like shaky camera angles, um, and then they add that to effect for films. I know people do that some of the times, but mainly smooth is best. So uh, a gimbal. And well, as of when I received my maintenance loan for uni, I'll be replacing this bad boy. Apart from the money of that that I need for travel, I'll be spending a lot of that maintenance loan on kit that I can invest money back into. And I'm just gonna go ham on buying kit. And I'm gonna replace that gimbal with the DJI Ronin SC because it is, well, it's made for my camera. So without further ado, let's shoot. Guys, I haven't actually put these speakers to the test in a long time. My prized possession over here. Two expensive loud bad boys. Can you not just feel that right now? Like the bass probably won't come through the camera very well, but... Nice vibration. So Are you ready for this? I don't think you're quite ready for the bass that this is about to produce, but uh, three, two, one. Sweet. So, I'm aching from the gym. I've taken my sister to dance. I've brought my sister home from dance. Three, two, one. Sneezing. Now guys, I've got to go to badminton um, from 7 till 8 and yeah. I should probably water Colin today as well because I don't think he's had any water in a long time. No, what a long time, long time. So right now I was just going to talk to you about something that kind of hit me. I've had quite a few messages before in the comments section and just you guys messaging me in general that have said that my videos have helped you through a lot of shit and uh although knowing that you guys are going through that sort of thing really isn't a good thing to hear but the fact that my videos are helping you and i'm doing something to help you unintentionally is really really good and that is a really really good feeling like little videos i literally sit right there i sit there and make just little silly videos just little vlogs and the fact that they help people through shit and like some of the stuff people go through is horrendous. Obviously I'm not going to dive into people's details because that's just stupid. But uh, it's crazy. Like we all have thoughts sometimes of like, oh yeah, I don't want to be here anymore and all that sort of thing. Because when you're going through shit and alive is the last thing that you want to be. Like you don't want people around you. You just want to be gone. And that I've had thoughts like that before. However, I would never actually go as far as actually doing it. I'm, I'm scared myself. If I've had thoughts like that, I've always been scared to even think any further than wanting to not be here anymore. I've always been too scared to take that next step. And that is the one time I'm so, so thankful I didn't jump out of my comfort zone. And I'm so, so glad that that scared thought in my head came over me because literally, I've never even thought about going any further than that and hopefully I never ever will but uh, in fact I can help you guys that are really struggling with not taking that next step the people that aren't scared to go further than the thoughts the people that aren't scared to physically hurt themselves or even kill themselves I'm so glad that I could have helped some of you just by making this 
And I just want you guys to know that if you are feeling like shit or if you do need help or if these dark thoughts are going through your head, my social medias are always open to you guys for a chat. My Instagram, my handle's down there. My Facebook, well it's just my normal name. My Twitter, it's down there. And just in the comment section guys, if you do want to keep it private, Instagram DM is where I'll answer most or Snapchat. But please, 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 if not anyone else, please message me. Because the thought of the, the fact that my videos where I haven't tried helping before have really helped people is insane. And that is mind blowing. In a way it makes you kind of feel heroic that you've genuinely been part of saving a life. Like if my video wasn't here, maybe the time that they spent watching my video and calming down would have been time spent doing much worse things. So I thank you so much and thanks for the feedback as well. It's always really, really good to hear. Always good to hear that you guys are doing well after watching the videos. And if you do want me to do a video on dark thoughts and everything, and a kind of motivational video just for you guys to watch when you are feeling down that can hopefully bring your mood back up and take you out of, out of that place, then let me know in the comment section down below and I'm more than happy to do so. But guys, I'm gonna end end this vlog here. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash that like if you did like the video and of course, subscribe if you guys are new. And well, my handles are down below. Go and follow them. It would really help me out. And of course guys, I'll see you all in, I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you very soon.